Hi there, this is Becca with Amazing Paper Grace and I'm peeking in today for a quick Becca bit. So many of you have asked me about the seam binding that I use. It's called Hug Snug. You can find it anywhere by Googling it. I know that even Amazon.com sells it. At any rate, when people started um, using seam binding on their cards, I looked in my stash and I had some of this. Um, the first rolls that I had were white and cream and if you're interested in get, getting started with it this is where you should start because you can do so much I mean look at look how much of these I've used um, I did expand it into some other pale colors that I could use it alone or as a base but you really don't need to at any rate this is just a dream to work with because it's washable and because it is rayon it has a dreamy drape now it doesn't have the drape of silk but it's close to it so and then of course with the width um, you can actually uh, make all of the different loopy bolt bows that are out there right now so um, when people started dyeing this, I thought, that is not for me. I don't like to get ink on my fingers like that, that won't come off. And uh, I really avoided it, but then once I started, I kind of became <laughs> a little bit obsessed with it. So I can actually dye up some in less than about five minutes. I keep a little uh, bin of it down by my feet so that I could just look through. My favorite shades to dye are a rose color or um, a creamy color because they go with everything but you know the sky's the limit and what I encourage you to do is don't go buy anything don't go buy any dye use what you have so when I was looking through my stash for what to use this is what I came up with I don't know where I got these I've had them forever uh, they were obviously on clearance some somewhere and uh, I don't think I ever used them <laughs> until I decided to dye some ribbon and then they came in handy and they were very neat to use. Also since I'm a big Distress ink user I have a couple of reinkers and so um, you know what better way to get the ribbon to match uh, the ink that you have stamped or distressed with. So I just want to show you how easy this is then. So I'm going to take a length of ribbon um, you know I'm only dying a, a pool of uh, a yard or two yards I actually don't ever measure it so I don't know but I have a craft sheet that I use and then I have the dry the dry ribbon so I'm gonna take one of these I want the uh, the rose color and I'm just going to put a couple of pools out on my craft sheet. And the thing about dyeing, I like it when it looks like something is old and worn. So I want big variations in color that you can see. So that's why I do this method. I don't want it to be one uniform color. You can do it that way, but I, I like for there to be splotches. So the next thing I'm going to do is come back just with a spritzer and spray. And there's no way to say how much water, but you know, at the end your ribbon is going to be wet. So then I drop my, I drop it into the pool and I start turning it. And it's going to, it's almost like mopping up a mess. So when I get done with that, the ribbon is not quite uh, wet all over. So I'm going to actually put some more. And then I will spritz some more water. Just dot that around. So if you were using a reinker here, you would just uh, squeeze out a couple of dots. Then I'm going to drop that on there. Now this time I didn't spray water. I can still do that, but I, I want those variations in color. And so you're going to keep doing that until you have it done to your satisfaction and you've got the color that you want. This time I'll spray. The more you spray, the more uniform of a color you're going to get, the more it's going to wick out. Okay. 
And I have found that this also dries lighter than what it looks like. Now I'm going to go with this water. And I have even been known to, if I don't think it's doing what I want it to do, I dot some of that on there. Okay. So I feel I'm pretty much done with this. Now I'm going to just get out my dryer so that I can dry it. Okay, now I said dryer, but I, what I meant to say was heat gun. I'm going to dry it with my heat gun. You could probably do it with a dryer, but this is something I have in my craft room, and I know it's going to dry it pretty quick. So I just start aiming, be very careful here, I start aiming the heat flow at the ribbon. Don't get too close. This is rayon. And just toss and twirl it until it's dry. Okay, my ribbon is now dry. And there, you know, you can kind of look and see how wrinkly it is. Sometimes I like the wrinkled look, but a lot of, most of the time I don't. So I have this little iron that I use to, um, to iron out my ribbon and it's just like a hair iron. So if you have a hair iron, don't buy anything new. And so just real quick, all I do is sandwich it and pull it through. And I do that for the whole several yards, and so this is what I come up with. And you can just see, um, you know, it, it has a little bit of a creamy base, but then you just see the stains and the the splotching in there. So, and uh, I just love this. I, I dream of the colors that I can do, and I hope that you do too. So, hope it's something you can use on your next craft project. I'll see you soon.